Finding Your Way Through Grief A book written by and for teenagers and young people. We are going to talk about what young people think has helped them through grief. We hope it will help you understand how grief affects us and what can help. Grief is a natural part of coping with bereavement. There are no rules about how we should feel or how long it should last. There are no right or wrong ways to grieve. Grief has many faces. It can be a massive bundle of emotions. Everyone grieves in their own way. In the beginning, a lot of the time, I just wanted to be alone. But now there's more times I want distraction of my friends as well. Common responses to grief are Shock, loneliness, poor sleep, feeling irritable, and lack of interest in things. Headaches, stomach aches, anger, and or anxiety. You might feel you've lost your sense of safety and control over your life. What helps? To understand this explosion of feelings are normal. Allow them to happen. Stuff down feelings do not disappear. It's okay to distract yourself from your grief and not to feel guilty that you are forgetting the person. If you feel guilty about certain things, especially at the end, remember your whole life with the person and not just the bad parts. Talk about your worries. It's important to talk, even though it's really hard sometimes. It's easier not to talk and isolate, but if you talk, you can get help. Feeling overwhelmed and anxious is common when grieving. Anxiety is the mind's response to a fearful situation. Identifying your thoughts can stop anxiety spiraling out of control. Remember, even members of your family will grieve differently to you. It's really important to be aware of how we grieve differently. Otherwise, it will affect relationships in the family in a bad way. Grief and anxiety can make looking after yourself difficult. When my dad died, I felt I couldn't talk to people. I let it bottle up and it got on top of me. Because I wasn't talking, I didn't really understand how I was feeling. I tried to cope in a very unhealthy way to relieve pain. Which didn't work and I just felt worse. Finally I spoke to my cousin and then I got the help I needed. You are who you are because of the lives that have touched you. The things you have learned from them stay inside you and become a part of you. As time goes on, you realize that no one is completely gone as long as you remember them.